State and federal agents stepped up their crackdown on synthetic drugs today when they raided smoke shops across upstate New York. These drugs, called bath salts, mimic the dangerous effects of cocaine, amphetamines, and other illegal stimulants. They were recently banned by the federal government. Lynette Adams has been tracking this story today and joins us with details of those raids in Batavia, Brockport, and elsewhere. Lynette? Well, Rich, tonight we learned federal agents and state police have been working on this investigation since the start of the year, going into stores and buying products right off the shelf. Police say they bought a variety of synthetic narcotics. All of this came about because of neighbors' complaints. It's one thing to read about it happening in other towns, but when it's happening, you know, a few doors up from your home, it, it's scary. Batavia resident Kyle Couchman is a little less scared tonight, thanks to the work of federal agents and state police. They raided this store known as 420 Emporium, and tonight it's closed. It's really good news because we did a protest last week over here to try and get them shut down and to hear that they were paying attention and actually in the process of doing that just feels great. <laughs> Police descended on this Batavia store and two other 420 Emporium stores, one in Henrietta and another in Brockport today. We were in Brockport when the raid happened there. Federal authorities say these stores are outlets for the highly dangerous and unpredictable bath salts and synthetic drugs. U.S. Attorney Bill Hochul says these drugs have created an epidemic. We have reports on almost a daily basis throughout western New York of people that are overdosing after they ingest these substances, of panic attacks, paranoia, elevated heart rate, and those are only the short-term effects. This is some of what agents confiscated, packets and vials labeled, for example, as exuberance powder, voodoo, all bath salts and synthetic marijuana, some of it going for as much as $50 and $60 a pack. Police also collected hundreds of thousands of dollars and arrested three people. Sources tell us late this afternoon, federal authorities raided the Greece home of the owner of these stores. He is not under arrest. These folks that are selling and manufacturing this stuff, they're not in it for humanitarian reasons or altruistic reasons. That right there is why they're in it, in this business, and that's why they're selling these substances. Federal authorities say they anticipate more arrests in this case. We can also tell you federal agents raided other establishments today, two other 420 Emporium stores in the central New York area, another store in Buffalo, and elsewhere across the country. Rich? So can these stores open up tomorrow? While the stores can open tomorrow, they were not closed. Police arrested the store clerks. Joshua Denise of Batavia, Michelle Condidorio, a Leroy resident, and Rochester resident Austin Sejour. They have been accused of intending to sell and selling these synthetic drugs. Lynette Adams with our report. Thanks, Lynette.